So we're 10 days away from our biggest event of the year and I wanted to share with you what I do before. Because, listen, when you create your own event, there's a lot of distractions, there's a lot of details, and a lot of people don't know what to do leading up to the 10 days. So what I do personally, first of all, is I take care of myself. What, is, what do I mean by that? Eat well, exercise, sleep well. All that stuff that we think is just, well, you know, I'm gonna push it all-nighters all the way up until the conference and then we're dead tired. No, you gotta take care of yourself. Number two, what am I, in fact, let's come up with a top 10 list, all right? So number one, take care of yourself. I'm gonna make this up on the spot. Number two, uh, what do I do? I practice. I absolutely practice with all of my people. And this means, it's called a TikTok, where it's a minute by minute breakdown of the entire, entire conference. And what I do is I've set up practice sessions all during the week. Number three, playlists and transitions. Many times at live events, people don't have transitions planned. So it's like, okay guys, we're gonna take a break. And then there's crickets. You gotta have transitions. And uh, the next one is introductions. The introduction, so I think we're on number four. Introductions are absolutely huge. You don't wanna just say, hey guys, our next speaker is Dan Miller, come on up, Dan. I, I have music tied to the introduction. I have slides. I have this big, big ramp up because everything creates energy in the room. Number five, we have a lot of vendors. What do I mean by vendors? We have an audio visual team. We have the hotel team. There's so many teams that we have outside of our uh, normal team. We have a lot more players this year because it's bigger. So what I'm doing, number five, is I'm checking in with my vendors. So I practice with the team, but I do check-ins with the vendors. Number six, supplies. We put something at every single table. We have props, we have a photo booth, we have this uh, basically theme called Close the Gap. And that's what I'm gonna talk about, supplies. What you wanna do is you wanna come up with supplies that support the, the theme. And you just gotta go back to the theme over and over again, because if you're not careful, you pick a theme and nothing ties to it. Number seven, brand symmetry. Brand symmetry, again, I'm making this up on the spot, but these are all things that are popping up in my head. Brand symmetry, that means that all of our slides have a consistent branding. We're not saying, oh, let's have eight different speakers with eight different color themes and eight different slide backgrounds. No, it's, it's a consistency that you not need to keep. Number eight, what we do is we basically have what's called pre-con. Pre-con means before the conference even starts, our team will all get together. We will have training. We will have registration training. We will have sales training. We will give them a tour. We're actually gonna have them tour the facilities. Why? Because if we start naming all these locations, they've never been in those rooms before, and uh, that's not cool. Number nine, what we do is in the conference, there's several key times where we have debriefs. We literally put on the TikTok staff debrief because you cannot expect that the full event is just gonna run smoothly and there's gonna be no issues. In fact, anticipate the issues. So number nine is that we actually have debriefs throughout the event where we get together and we rally and we chat. And number 10, greeting. Listen, I'm sure I could give more, but you wanna give the people who pull up to the hotel, your conference center, wherever it is, you want to have them not walking around being like, where am I? Is this the right spot? So I'm going to call that greeting slash first impressions. We want to create a very warm, welcoming environment with 
overstaffing, meaning that there's more people there. We can help them with bags. We can point them to directions. We can take their books over to the uh, book conference bookstore. So these are the top 10 things that I do the 10 days before conference so that the event runs smoothly, effectively, and so that people have an amazing transformational time. This is Carrie Oberbrunner, Be a Soul on Fire. If you're watching this and you've come to the Igniting Souls Conference ever, go ahead and type in your favorite memory below. And if you haven't come, gotta see you at the next one. It's every October, but I'm telling you, it's the best event on planet Earth. It's not the biggest, it is the best because of the people in the room like you. Talk to you very soon.